Hi, everyone. My name is Pat Kerr. I'm from the class of 2011. I'm the chair of the Mission and Service Committee for the SAL Alumni Association. Uh, thanks for joining our first virtual alumni Lenten prayer service. Uh, all guests will be able to use the chat box. Uh, don't worry about being heard or seen since you're muted. Um, you should only be able to see or hear um, myself, myself, John Allison, Bernie Fitzgerald, and uh, Jerry Lowry. Um, so we wanted to make a space for alumni to gather during Holy Week, reconnect with the LaSallian community and their faith. Um, so tonight we'll hear readings from a few stations of the cross, ones that describe how Jesus repeatedly fell. Uh, we will listen to a gospel reading and then a reflection from Bernie Fitzgerald. Uh, we will close out with some petitions and a closing prayer. Uh, we don't expect to take um, longer than 725. Thanks for being here. And thanks to uh, John Allison for helping get us set up on AirMeet. Um, if anyone has any issues, write them in the chat. And remember, as an attendee, you won't be visually seen or heard, so you just need to write in the chat. So let's get started. Um, we're going to have an opening prayer from the return of the prodigal son. For most of my life, I've struggled to find God, to know God, to love God. I've tried hard to follow the guidelines of the spiritual life, pray always, work for others, read the scriptures, and to avoid the many temptations to dissipate myself. I have failed many times, but always tried again, even when I was close to despair. Now I wonder whether I have sufficiently realized that during all this time, God has been trying to find me, to know me, and to love me. The question is not how am I to find God, but how am I to let myself be found by him? The question is not how am I to know God, but how am I to let myself be known by God? And finally, the question is not how am I to love God, but how am I to let myself um, be loved by God? God is looking into the distance for me, trying to find me and longing to bring me home. Now we're gonna move um, to Stages of the Cross by Jerry Larry, uh, class of 1978. Jerry, take it away. Sure. The third station of the cross, Jesus falls for the first time. Let us remember the first time when we gave into temptation and sinned. We fell into sin and moved away from God. Let us repent and ask Jesus for his forgiveness. For the seventh station, Jesus falls for a second time. We often feel sorry and repent for our sins. We again fall into temptation, then forget everything pretty soon. We go back to our sinful lives, falling into more, ever deeper sins. Let us surrender our hearts to the Lord and be truly repentant and sorry. Let us strive not to keep committing the same sins over and over. In the ninth station, Jesus falls for a third time. Let this be the last time that we sin. Let us make our hearts strong and pray to Jesus for strength to fight the temptations of Satan. Let us become closer to God during this Lenten season through fasting and prayer. Thanks, Jerry. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Um, now we have time for reflection. I'm honored to have a uh, former uh, homeroom teacher, history teacher, Bernie Fitzgerald from the class of 1977, uh, share a reflection. Patrick, that intimidates me. <laughs> I just need to tee you up a little bit. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just here. I, I honestly, I appreciate you suggesting me. It's the only reason I feel qualified to reflect is, you know, the respect I have for you and for Lou to give me this, you know, the ability to, to speak on, uh, you know, the, on the Jesus's journey during Holy Week. So um, it occurred to me um, throughout. And, you know, I actually participate in whole uh, Good Friday services every year. And I'm a lector at uh, either San Alfonso's or St. Joseph's in Sea Isle. And um, of course, it, it's it's hard not to reflect on on the passion and on Holy Week when you're involved in that. And, and one of the things that occurs to me is that um, he enters Jerusalem on Palm Sunday and he is celebrated. He's triumphant. People are throwing their clothes on the ground so he doesn't, or his, you know, his donkey doesn't have to walk on the, the dirt. The palms are being thrown also so he can, he can walk on green, on greenery. And he's triumphant. He's the son of David. He's, he's the prophet. He's the healer. They're just, you know, it, it reminds me of a parade for him. Four days later, in that same town, they're calling for him to be crucified. Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. And, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering and reflecting on times in our life that that's similar to us. When we, as you know, a, a gentleman, um, take on a role or maybe have an accomplishment or achievement, and we're celebrated and told, you know, all the accolades that we are. And then once we take on that leadership, you know, that's a tough spot. There will be those because of either envy or disagreement. There will be those that will criticize us and question us and mock us because we have a spot, you know, if we are at work and get a, a, a promotion or in the community, we're elected or, or being given a position or, or in home, in the home, when you are deciding to be a parent, you take on a piece, this position of leadership that you know you're now open for criticism. How do we how do we handle it and stay the course? If you have people's best interests at heart and other people's, you know, and well and you're well intentioned, and you have love in your heart, then you can stay the course no matter what the criticisms are. And that's like, uh, uh, and if you're prayerful, you know, there's times as a parent, I've been a single parent. And as a single parent, there are times where I felt I could do no wrong. No matter what decision I made, the people that relied on me for that role just needed me to be right. And then it came upon a time when I was a step parent and as a step parent, I felt there are times where I could do no right. No matter what I decided, there was, you know, criticisms. And if you have love in your heart and you're well-intentioned and people, you have other people's good, best interests at heart, then I, I feel as if, you know, you can stay the course. You've made a decision that you can stick by. So that's like my reflection. What the heck happened between Palm Sunday and Good Friday? But then if you turn it around, we all have our Good Fridays in our own way. Certainly no one's going to crucify us, but certainly we are being challenged. And if we stay with the intentions and people's best interest and love in our heart, if you can get through Good Friday, I assure you, in the the words of a great preacher, Sunday's coming. You're going to have, you know, a great Easter Sunday morning. So that's my reflection on, you know, that Jesus's journey during, you know, the passion and that, and we all fit that. He was a great teacher. If I could finish by saying he taught by parables, 
He taught by sermons. He taught by being a model for us. What would Jesus do? As we finish, as we face our Good Fridays, just be sure Sunday's coming. Thank you. Thanks so much, Bernie. I really appreciate um, you joining us and, and sharing your reflection. That was great. All right. Um, well, now we're getting to the part of the petitions. Um, I'd like to ask if anyone has petitions that you want us to read, please put them in the chat now. Um, uh, so I'll get us started. Let us present to the Father our intentions for ourselves and for the world. Uh, the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Obviously, I only will hear our the, the speakers. Um, but I know you're also responding that on your own. But the, yeah. Did you say something, Bernie? No, I was just realizing the situation you're in without being able to hear anyone. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, that the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who lead with love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thanks. We pray for an end to the violence in Ukraine and peace in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. Lord. That those who experience rejection or failure may find hope and strength in the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lasallian community of faith may be guided by the Holy Spirit as we work to build up the kingdom of God on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. That those who have died, especially those in our Lasallian family, may be welcomed into the peace and happiness of everlasting life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And if anyone has a special attention, uh, please feel free to enter in the chat again or say to yourself this time. Um, and Lou Clark helped us like this closing prayer. So I'm going to read that and then we're going to close out. Um, really appreciate you all being here and there'll be a survey tomorrow about what you liked and what could be improved or if you want to help, help us uh, lead these next time. All right. So the closing prayer. Fast from judging others, feast on Christ dwelling in them. Fast from fear of illness, feast on the healing power of God. Fast from words that pollute, feast on speech that purifies. Fast from discontent, feast on gratitude. Fast from anger, feast on patience. Fast from pessimism, feast on hope. Fast from negatives, feast on encouragement. Fast from bitterness, feast on forgiveness. Fast from self-concern, feast on compassion. Fast from suspicion, Feast on truth, fast from gossip, feast on purposeful silence, fast from problems that overwhelm, feast on prayer that sustains, fast from anxiety, feast on faith. And let us end as we end all things at La Salle. It might be a little bit for some of us, but St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for pray us. For us. Pray. Live Jesus in our hearts. Forever. Forever. Great. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Bernie, for your great stuff, guys. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Have a happy Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter.